Congratulations, sen- uh, seniors. Uh, you know, the one thing I love about student ministry, I did student ministry for 12 years. And I tell you, the great thing about student ministry is you get to start, let's say, about sixth grade here at Eastern Shore, and you get to grow up all the way through, and you get to learn really important things, really important things. Now, no doubt, Tim has taught these students lots, lots of important lessons. But I tell you, I was watching that video, and one important lesson that apparently you didn't teach, you never stand up in a canoe. How could you? <laughs> How could you? That's horrible. You're going to flip. You're going to flip the boat. Today is graduation Sunday. It's our day to recognize our seniors, but seniors, make no mistake about it, we are not recognizing you. We are recognizing God's faithfulness to you. God has brought you a long way. The Lord has protected you. The Lord has saw you through many difficult times. Seniors, make no mistake about it, the Lord has his hand on you. He has a plan for you. Whether you believe in Him or not, it does not much matter because He believes in you. He has a plan for your life. He wants you to go far. He wants you to be salt and light in this world. And He is going to give you direction. All you have to do is to cry out to Him. But today, we recognize your achievements. We want to say thank you. Thank you for being faithful to our church. But more importantly, the Lord has been very faithful to you. I'm going to call out our graduating seniors' names. You'll see their slides on the screens, where they go to school, where they're going to go to school. They're going to come up. Seniors, I'd like you to meet your youth pastor. He has a gift. And then after that, we will pray for our seniors. And you, the congregation, will have a special part in that. Scott Allen. Scott here. Nathan Blackman. You can clap. Nicole Blackman. Craig Browning. Jesse Butler. Tiffany Campbell. Hunter Cobb. Jordan Eichner. Terry Jaquez. Joshua Kerger. Corey Lazary. Shelby Lazarini. Russ Mosley. Clay Myers. Amanda Patton. Amber Patton. (laughs) 
Alex Riviera. Allie Smith. Brittany Wilson. And Amber Witherington. Every year with each class is a little different. You know, I was thinking back, these, this group, when I came here in 2000, they were first graders. And um, that'll put things in perspective for you when you're, when you're sitting up here and you're thinking, I've been here a pretty long time. So, but this is, this is a, a special group and, and um, great kids and I've enjoyed having them in our student ministry uh, these past, uh, six, seven years, and um, some of them, we just want to uh, recognize some of their accomplishments in terms of kind of a, in, a, in a general way, but several of them have received scholarships. You saw the colleges where they're planning on going, but I just want to ask if there's anyone here that got an academic scholarship, would you just step forward very quickly, an academic scholarship, okay? All right, thank you. Okay, and I know we had at least one or two that got an athletic scholarship. Anybody got an athletic scholarship? Okay. Thank you, Russ. Okay, anyone else, if you got any kind of like service or leadership, any other type of scholarship like that, would you step forward? No? Okay. All right. Then there's, there's always the mom and dad scholarship, so. Um, <laughs> Every, everybody be stepping forward on that. Um, we are so grateful for these students and proud of them and, uh, and you as a, a parents and, and as a church family uh, for your support of them over the years in the student ministry. And uh, I'm going to ask Stuart going to come now and lead us in a time of prayer for these uh, young people as they prepare to begin the next chapter of their life. Thank you, Tim. Students, what I'd like you to do, Nathan, you be the leader. I want you to come down and step right down here, right here in front of the altar, if you don't mind. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Now, um, congregation, now is your turn. Now is your time of active participation. I believe that there is nothing more important than children and youth. There's nothing more important than sending them out as agents of salt and light into this world. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do something very different, maybe in our church, and, but it's a, a tradition that I, I believe in. What I would like you to do, if, if you have had any type of active participation in either raising these children as your own, maybe you're a parent, grandparent, maybe you have raised them spiritually, maybe you are a Sunday school teacher and you were a first grade Sunday school teacher to one of these students, maybe you led them in children's choir. Maybe you, you remember them uh, during types of children's ministry and you're so proud of them to see them grow up. Maybe you would just like to pray for them. What, what I'd like you to do is if you had any active participation in their lives at all, whether it's raising them or spiritually bringing them up, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to stand up right where you are and I'd like you to come down and I'd like you just to grab one of our students. Just put your hand on their shoulders and let's pray for them together with our hands on. Go ahead, stand up and come on forward.
Would you bow your heads with me? Father God, this is a moving sight. To see parents, teachers, Sunday school teachers who have played an active role in a student's life. Lord, this very act here this morning tells me that they deeply care for these students. That they love them. They love them enough to stand up for them. They've loved them enough to teach them. They've loved them enough to point them your way. Lord, we are profoundly grateful for these 21 seniors. We are profoundly grateful for the faithfulness that you've showed them. Lord, at our life's end, I truly believe that we will look back and we will see moments where you have saved us. And yet we didn't even know it. And Lord, no doubt these students, as they get older, they will look back and think, wow, God was moving. I didn't even know it. Lord, I I pray for wisdom for these students. I know that their parents would love for them to be taken care of in this life. But Lord, I, I know that most importantly, they would love to see their children have wisdom that they would make good choices, that they would make wise decisions. Lord, I I pray for boldness for these students. Lord, they are exiting out into a world that is hostile, hostile towards people, hostile towards believers. Lord, I pray that you would give these students a bold witness, that, Lord, you would allow them to be different, That, Lord, you would call them to new heights. That, Lord, you would help them to find churches. If they're leaving our church, going into another community, that, God, you would put a burden on them to find a church home, to find a place to plug in. Lord, to find a place to serve. Help them, Father, to be bold in their witness. Lord Jesus, I I pray not only for wisdom, not only for boldness, but, Lord, I also pray for a burden. Lord, I pray that you would burden them for the lives of their friends, both the ones that they have and the ones that they will meet. I pray that you will put a a burden on them to share their witness and their testimony with others. Lord, we don't know how many countless lives these students can change. But Lord, I know that you're going to use them. Lord, put a word in their mouth, put a testimony in their life, Lord, and allow them to be burdened to love people wherever they go. Lord, as these parents and teachers are standing with their children, Lord, I pray for comfort for them. Lord, I know that it's so difficult to see their child step out of the nest. And I pray, Lord, that you would comfort them. That's a hard time. But Lord, we thank you for your peace. We thank you for these missionaries. Lord, they don't even realize they're missionaries, but we thank you for them. Because they are going to put a dent in the darkness. They are going to make a massive kingdom impact with huge eternal rewards. Lord, we thank you for this day where we honor them, but more importantly, we honor you and your love and your faithfulness to us. Lord, we pray these things in your Son's name. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated.